Well, there's a reason why the Congress has decided to hold its first CWC meeting. That's a new CWC meeting in Hyderabad in Telangana. It's a pole-bound state and it's very clear that the Congress party now wants to take the fight to the doorsteps of the BRS government over there. If you look at the internal survey of the Congress party, they are quite convinced that this is one state that they can take away from the BRS. Remember, at one point of time, as it was called earlier, TRS was a part of the UPA, but they split apart. And this was also over the blame game and taking credit over the formation of the separate state of Telangana is concerned. As far as KCR is concerned, he gave the credit to himself. But the Congress party said that we who were in power at the center at that point of time should actually get the credit. While today, despite the fact that BRS is very, very confident that they are going to be voted back to power once again because the Congress as an organization has been pretty weak in the state, the Congress does not think so, which is why it comes as no surprise that it's all knives out between the BRS and the Congress party and the attack is straight on at the Gandhi family. Not one, but two letters have now been written to the Prime Minister by the Chief Minister on the grounds that 33% reservation for women or the Women Reservation Bill must become a reality in the upcoming special session of Parliament. It's very clear that the BRS wants to snatch credit for this. In fact, the attack on the Congress Party, specifically on the Gandhis, are on two points. One. K. Kavita, who has been one of the strongest proponents of the Women Reservation Bill, has asked this question is that why did Sonia Gandhi in her letter to a Prime Minister, where she urged him to give out the agenda of the upcoming special session, not mention the Women Reservation Bill? Now, in that letter, she had actually raised nine points which must be on agenda, according to her, in the special session. According to K. Kavita, none of those nine points make a reference to the passage of the Women Reservation Bill, thereby accusing Sonia Sonia Gandhi, who had ensured that during the UPA time this bill was passed in Rajya Sabha, but was now not really serious about it. So it's clear that BRS wants to take credit. But what has angered the Congress party even more is that comment which came in from K. Kavita at a press conference that Rahul Gandhi is an outdated leader. That is, all the promises which have been made by the Congress party has not been fulfilled in the other states. And therefore, the kind of promises that they are making in Telangana will also not be fulfilled. This has evoked a very strong reaction from the Congress, with the lead being taken by Jairam Ramesh, who at a press conference said that she should be worried about the ED and not about Rahul Gandhi. Now, why did he say so? He said so because ED has issued summons to K. Kavita once already a round of questioning has finished and a second round where she had to go, she put it on hold on the ground that a matter is being heard in Supreme Court. And therefore that attack coming in on the BRS, that they should be more concerned about what she is going through. Therefore, the corruption allegation which the Congress party has consistently applied on the Telangana government is being reinforced by Jairam Ramesh. As we all know, as talks are taking place in the opposition parties and the India Front has been formed, there is one party, which is a big one, which is the BRS, which has largely stayed out of it. Not only this, and a parallel fund, KCR has been going out and meeting out, in fact, talking about an alternative to the BJP at the center. The Congress has always labeled the BRS as a B team of the BJP. And therefore, the battle for Telangana has hotted up. And this is exactly expected to come up at the Congress Working Committee meeting for the two day long, where they're going to work out a strategy to take on the BJP at the center, but also what they call the B team of the BJP. And that is, of course, the BRS. And that's the reason why Hyderabad has been chosen as the venue for the Congress Working Committee.